This is Martin Young of Sitting Spiritually and today we're at Ford Abbey assembling one of our oak pergolas with a two-seater curved swing seat. Ford Abbey started life as a Cistercian monastery about 1128 and was a Cistercian monastery for about 400 years. It was a prosperous monastery and in 1539, following the dissolution of the monasteries, it came into private hands. The wonderful thing about gardens is that there is something different to see at all times of the year. So here you see our installation team initially unloading all the components and I recommend you do the same just to check that everything's there before you start. On the right hand side there are the four goal posts. To the left you can see two drink shelves and in between those the crossbars with their notches on and in the background the roof timbers. It's important you just spend a little bit of time at this stage familiarising yourself because every component is numbered. Set out accurately where you want the four posts. The dimensions will be on your final email and then dig fairly generous holes for each one. Once all those holes have been dug and time is spent there making sure everything is accurate, you move on to the start of the assembly. The first process is to take the crossbar, as we call it, and to fix it, as you see here, into the end of the goalposts. And it's a simple question of fixing them onto the tenons with a dab of glue, and then once they're in place, winding in the stainless steel coat screws that will make them so stable. Then you need to think about making them square and you do this by fixing the appropriate curved braces. There you can see the number three. These are then tapped in, make evenly each side, just making sure that they've lined up properly before fixing the final coat screws. It is worth making sure that this whole structure is square before you lift it in place and the use of a square at this stage is very helpful. Now it's possible for two men to carry the goal posts and drop them into those holes. The team that we use to put these up all over the UK is a three-man team so it makes it easy for two of them to hold the structures while the third puts the top beam on. If it's a two-man team, you can simply prop it. But once that first roof timber is on and the bolts are tightened down onto it, then the structure starts to become stable. The second roof timber at the first side is added and now all the braces are put in place to stabilize We talk about a loose tenon and going into a mortise, making it nice and easy to adjust. There's an example. Once the curved braces are on, if you've got drink shells to fix, now's the time to tap them in with a dab of glue. And then the next part of the operation, all the bolts are in place, so what you're gonna start doing now is to plug off the holes. A dab of glue, the plugs are tapped in and normally they're cut off flush like this. You do have an option to leave them a little longer if you want them to look like traditional plugs and we finish them off by giving them a sanding over. So 
So a final check for level and you're then ready to concrete the posts in. Here we're using a post mix which is a strong and very fast drying product. Two bags to each leg and then you can backfill. And that's all that remains then is the final roof timbers which are just bolted into place following the numbering system. And now for the best bit, you're ready to hang your seat. It's simple question of carrying it into place. Hook the springs into the eye bolts on the pergola. Hook the chains on and then you can play around with the height till you're happy. Once you've done that, it's nice to cut the excess chain off. The swing seats are very, very special. They add an enormous amount to the garden. There are always people on them. They get an awful lot of use and they add enormously to the garden and its backdrop. So I really hope you found this video useful either for yourself or for your installation team. So it's Martin Young from Sitting Spiritually saying goodbye to you from Ford Abbey.